We've organised this event in London today for 25 of the most influential journalists and bloggers that we could find to show them the evolution of 3D printing to date, to show them where it's come from, but more importantly, give them a glimpse of the very exciting future of 3D printing. are very interested in the 3D printing market. It's a, it's a market that we see growing uh, incredibly uh, rapidly over the next few years. Uh, it's been great to have the products all on show, on demo, um, particularly the Q Pro, which is the first time that it's been seen in the UK. So what's lovely about 3D printing is that you can try something out, prototype something, and then when you've got experience about how it works, you can just try another one subtly different and make it better and better. At the moment, it's exciting because it's early days. It's also exciting because with the RepRap Pro, because you make all the bits, you can think, well, I can modify this. Well, I can make it bigger or make it smaller. And that's quite exciting from my point of view, for someone who makes things. Engineers of the future will need to have the skills to make use of 3D printing, whether that's in the traditional um, fields of engineering, say automotive and aerospace engineering, uh, or whether it's biomedical, dental, whether it's jewellery, fashion, uh, there's all sorts of areas that are now making use of 3D printing and schools recognise that the students are going to need to have the skills to make use of 3D printers in their workplace in the future. Events like this are really important because technology moves on at an alarming pace. And what we're aiming to do is to bring those people at the forefront of these technologies in front of an audience that's eager to learn more. And through their awareness, it drives demand. So all in all, everybody wins. <laughs>